Hey guys, um, I'm Leanne and this is my channel. So I don't know why my lighting is even worse today than it was last time I made a video, but it is. So this is the first video I'm making in October, which is spooky month, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna try out a Halloween makeup look. Um, um it's a tutorial, I'm gonna do a Halloween makeup tutorial. So I'm going to be using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation for the first time. I've heard it's like really, really dry. So I'm going to actually prime my skin with um, oil instead of <laughs> moisturizer like I usually would just because I heard it's really, really dry. And here I am, nice and oily. Wow. Mm. I'm going to just go ahead and do the base off camera because that's the boring part. But I'm just using the NYX foundations I mentioned and Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And then I'll be right back. So the base is done. I have the foundation and concealer. Um, I set everything with my Infallible Pro Matte Powder and also, where's the other one? And another one that I don't remember what it's called and I don't know where I put it. Cool. Oh, Maybelline Fit Me <laughs> Powder. I'm a little bit concerned because I look like really cakey and orange right now. But I don't know. I don't know what's up, but that, I don't know. I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's something I did. So, I'll, I'll, I mean, obviously I'm going to try the foundation again another day. For now, let's just move on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some bronzer just on my cheeks and forehead a little bit. Uh, I'm using the Milani all over glow bronzer it looks better in real life with the lights off because i did the foundation with the lights off but then once i turn it on you can see better on camera with the lights on i don't really know what to do i don't know how to solve this lighting problem i'm running out of ideas I don't want to buy an expensive ring light right now. I'm just starting off. I don't know how this is going to go, this whole YouTube thing. Why do I still look shiny? I don't look shiny in person, but on camera, like my chin and like right there, I look shiny. So I'm going to leave the rest of the base for now. I'm not going to do my brows right now either, um, just because of the look that I'm trying to do. And if I can, I'm going to try and put it somewhere on the screen so you guys know what I'm going for. Um, but I'm going to actually just start on the eyes now. Um, but I'm going to go into the ColourPop um, Cute AF palette and grab the yellow, same one that I used. In my first video, I'm just going to put it all over my what side is it? My right eye. I'm not really worrying about like if it's messy or not right now. Um, I'm kind of just like feeling out the shape of my eye socket and trying to fill in that shape with this yellow.
You see, what I should have done before I did this is I should have tried to do that thing where you like glue down your eyebrows. Um, but I don't think I didn't think of that clearly. And it's too late now, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just going to try and work with this. Um, So, because I didn't glue down my eyebrow, this is already going to be a failed look. But I'm going to keep going anyways. Uh, I'm going to grab this orange color right here. This one. With this teeny tiny little flat brush. Uh, it's just like... Okay, cool. It's not going to focus, but whatever. Tiny little flat brush. I'm going to kind of... Art down towards the bottom of um, the circle. And start making some wavy lines going outwards. I look like a crazy person. So there we are, that took a while, um, also I realized that the eyeshadow is like super pigmented, so I just put it in my brow, I'm going to set it now before I move on to the next eye. I'm actually not moving on to the next eye yet, um, because I noticed in the picture that the girl kind of um, outlined everything with black. Like with eyeliner or something but I don't want to do that um, I actually instead of doing that I'm going to try to oh boy I'm going to try to um, blend the orange and the yellow together so I'm going to take that same mustardy yellow color and just kind of go along the edges of this. Okay, that's not bad. Um, she also uh, had glitter on her eye. I don't think I have any loose glitter or anything, but I have this, what is this? Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. Actually, I'm not going to use that. Instead of doing that, um, I'm going to grab... Which palette am I going to use? I'm going to grab the, um, the Saharan by Juvia's palette. And I'm going to grab a blending brush. I'm going to use... Well, I'm going to use this um, this fluffy brush right here. I'm going to take this bronze color and wow, this is really you have to be careful with this stuff because it's super duper pigmented. Um, but I'm just going to try to brush a little bit of this bronze all over everything, just to kind of get that. Um, glow that shimmer but there we go this is what we've got going on so far um i think i'm actually going to also grab um uh, i'm going to grab my milani highlighter in sun glow which is that and i'm just going to i don't know 
I don't know. I have no clue what I'm doing. That much should be obvious by now. I need to highlight cheekbone a little bit. And try not to brush off the eyeshadow while I'm at it. And then just put a little bit on my inner corner and in the center of my lid. Yes, excellent. Cool. Off to a great start. Um, so now we're going to move on to the other eye and I don't know how I'm going to do this at all. Right, I'm going to start by going back into the um, Swear By It palette. I'm going to grab... Do I have any clean fluffy brushes? <laughs> I don't. How am I going to do this? I'm going to grab um, this gray up in the top corner. I'm going to. I'm going to basically like go around with my eye again. Hopefully, it will show. Oh yeah, it's doing something. So now I've kind of gotten a flat gray all around my eye, but this one doesn't stick to her eye. It goes up her forehead kind of, so I'm going to try and imitate that as well as I can. So I did actually have one other palette with blue in it, which I think is going to come in very, very useful. Um, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Palette in Eclectic. But before I do that, um, I'm really scared I'm going to highlight and rub off the pigmentation. So I'm just going to grab this e.l.f. highlight palette, highlight and contour. contour contour palette. <laughs> I'm going to grab this highlighter shade, this white one, because I don't have pig like colored highlighters. I have blue, not blue, I have um, gold and I have white. I'm going to grab this white one and just go along my cheekbone, highlight like I normally would. Boom. Why do I still look so shiny? It's only on camera. I don't look shiny at all in person. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can mattify. So I'm going to take that same brush that I just used for the gray. I'm going to take this, ooh, this blue right here. And I'm going to try to focus this. No, I'm not. I'm just going to put this where it feels right, you know? I'm just going to put it where I feel it. So I think I'm also going to take this dark blue right at the bottom right there. It looks kind of black on camera, but it's dark blue. There we go. Right there. And I'm just going to deepen up a couple of places, just right along the side of my nose. I'm going to go back into the gray and kind of try to blend out this edge a little bit. I might have to go back with the orange and fix up um, the bits around my nose. So 
So the camera stopped recording. I don't think it stopped for long, but I just um, blended out uh, around my nose a little bit with the gray. I'm going to go back with the orange eyeshadow that was around my nose and just try to put some of that back in. I'm just going to grab my concealer and I'm going to grab this really tiny, teeny tiny brush right here. I think this is supposed to be a lip brush actually, but I'm going to put some concealer on it and try to carve out like a moon and some stars around this side of my face. Okay, I think this is it. I made a really ugly moon. Um, I realized that because of where my camera, not camera, where my um, mirror is, you probably didn't see a lot of that because my head was turned this way the whole time. Uh, but honestly, there wasn't much to see. It was just me slowly carving out this very, very ugly moon, which I'm now going to set. I'm actually going to take this flat brush which can get into the thin spaces and use this to fill in the moon that I just created. So that's the moon. It's so pretty. Look how glowy it is. Um, I think I need a smaller brush though. I'm gonna use this one. It's an angled eyeliner brush, but it works. I'm gonna use it for the stars. So there's our progress. Um, I think I'm going to grab I think I'm going to grab the same brush that I used for the um, bronze on this eye. I'm going to pick up um, this like silvery oh I'm holding this really badly. I'm going to pick up this silvery blue right here. Um, I try to just pat it on around the moon and stars to add a little bit of glitter to the rest of this. So I just put on these um, kiss, kiss lashes in Flirty. Sorry if they look terrible, I don't usually wear lashes. I think I've worn lashes like twice. Um, I blended them in with NYX Worth the Hype mascara and I put on some black lipstick, also by NYX. NYX, I love you, you're great. So here's the finished look. And that is it for this video. Um, I really hope you guys liked it, if anyone's watching. I really hope that you guys <laughs> liked this video. I hope you liked this look. Um, I think the reason I kept getting so shiny is because of the oil I was wearing under the foundation. So I'm going to try it without the oil next time. We'll see if that's any better. Um, but that's it for this video. Please uh, leave a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, 
and go ahead and leave a comment of like other Halloween -y makeup looks that you want to see me try and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can because I love Halloween it's so great um but yeah that's it for this week's video and I'll see you in the next one bye my camera kept dying because I record on my phone and apparently my phone's memory is full what are you gonna do